All right, guys, simple solution to those of you who had boosted V1 boards. Boosted's first electric skateboard. This is a dual plus, which means that both, both of the back wheels, um, they're powered. The single ones, um, they just had one, one powered wheel, and that was about it. Yeah, but this is the top of the line. I got this in 2015, November 2015. I used it because I had a last mile problem getting to my job from the train station, which was six miles away. I never used the board, uh, you know, for leisure. It was just to go to and from work. Um, I also had the, um, the battery problem. This is the original battery. took it off and I was thinking about using that see that's the BMS chip that's the BMS circuit board on top of the battery pack these are 2660 cells yeah these are more sophisticated lithium um, cells I was thinking about taking you see those you see the main terminals right there not the ones in the middle that's the charger the one on the right, the left actually would start the left first, that's the, the negative side, and that's the positive side. This red wire with the green um, electric tape on it. I was thinking about taking this BMS circuit board off and soldering the terminals, the main terminals, onto this battery I'm using now. This is a cobalt battery got from Home Depot. Oh, by the way, these are the best batteries to use for you know the e-scooters and e-boards and e-bikes. I think that the tool batteries um, they're safer, they're much more safer to use than those batteries um, that 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 are imported, the ones with the um, the blue um, shrink wrap on them. And they're just so much more powerful. This is six amp hour. I have another one here, D Walt. This is D Walt Flex Volt, 60 volt, 20 volt, 60 volt max. And I have one over here that's an 80 volt. That's a cobalt. It's only 2.0 amp hours, but this is very powerful. I use it on my e bike before. My e bike is 72 watts, 3000 watts. Yeah, we're getting back to this battery here. Yeah, I was thinking about taking the BMS circuit board and soldering the main terminals. And just plugging them in on the plus and minus of this battery. But then I realized that if you look at this BMS board, it's actually soldered and some other sections onto the battery pack, like down here, and in the middle, and on top. So I didn't want to go through all that, that headache. Because I think that, then again, I'm not sure. And if you want to use this, this BMS circuit board, it has to be sold in some other places, probably on this battery, for it to work. So I have to open it up. And so I didn't want to even go through that headache. So what I've done was I've had these, con I, have, I have some controllers here I got from eBay. You see this controller here? This is a, the, the, this is a 30, 24, 24 volt, 36 volt. I think 10s or something like that. You know, they have them on eBay. They're like sixty dollars. You know, I know they have Foxbox and Flitskies, but they're, they're, those are too expensive. They they're like two hundred dollars, man. Um, the good thing with these controllers, they're simple. 
They're simple to use, and I don't even need the whole sensors plugged in with this. You see this, the whole sensors down there, those two white connectors, they're not even plugged in, and this thing still works. Just fine. Boosted board V1. It's not worth repairing the battery because um, because of how, how Boosted made this battery. They're great. They're a great company, but they messed up. Because if you look at the V2s and the Stealths, the one the boys that came out after the Boosted Minis, they all have removable battery packs. Now, why on earth didn't they just simply have a removable battery pack for the V1? They decided to um, have their battery pack um, communicate, you know, Bluetooth fashion with the circuit board. The circuit board was back here, and there's a thing on the bottom of the circuit board. draw somewhere well, on the on the bottom of that circuit board there is a Bluetooth um, logo at the bottom it's the way they, they communicate via Bluetooth and so I just took that whole system out and um, you, you can you can use any controller for any do-it-yourself skateboard and still use your motors. You don't have to take, do not take these motors off because they're still, they're still pretty cool. You know, they run well. I w I'm considering changing the bearings and that's about it. That's all you have to do. They said just do that to, um, to get more fluid um, rolling resistance and maybe like one or two or three miles per hour, maybe two miles an hour at the most. Um, faster speed or whatever. The boosted battery pack, this was a 39.6 volt. This is a cobalt 6.0 amp hour 40 volt battery, lithium battery. Purchased from Home Depot. This is this is what this is about 90 bucks. This battery here is worth about maybe like 500. In my opinion, this battery is probably three times as better than this battery. Because Cobalt, they make really fantastic batteries. And you don't, you don't have to use them for tools. Any lithium battery you could use for anything. You can use an e-bike battery for, for, for a power drill. As long as it's, you know, it's a, it's, if, it's a, if it's a lithium battery, it's in the same class. It doesn't matter what type of battery. I personally just love these two batteries. I've used them for my e-bikes. And um, today's going to be probably the first day if it doesn't rain. It looks like it's going to rain. It's kind of cloudy today. I'm just trying to like um, get this thing situated so I can give it a trial, a test run tonight. Okay, so so there you have it for future reference. Everyone who's owned a boosted V1, please watch this video. And please um, try to like this video if you can. You see that? Works just fine with a um, controller, an ESC swap, and a battery swap. You get to keep your motors, of course, because as long as they have a power source, it doesn't matter. If it's boosted system, you just take it out. And since that system um, is pretty much defaulted, and it's not, you know, it's no good, you know, it's no good no more. Um, all you have to do is just get a controller from eBay, uh, eSkate controller from eBay. And get you any 40 volt battery if you want to get one from you know for 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 do-it-yourself skateboard or whatever that's fine but 
I personally like the two batteries. And, you know, because the quality is still there. Any questions, just drop me a line and I'll try and get back to you.